Hello and welcome back to West Brom Fan TV. Pretty big news today. So um, a journalist called Jordan Cross has came out and said that Jed Wallace is um, set to do a medical today at the Hawthorns as um, he chose us out of all the other suitors. I think he's like the likes of Forrest, Luton, Burnley, Watford and even Besiktas have all been after him. And um, he's chose us according to these reports. So it's pretty big news, to be fair. I mean, you look at this team for next season, it's pretty tasty. We've got three new players, if we count DK as well after his injury, and as well as Grant up front. They, these two new lads, Swift and Wallace, and have been absolute assist machines last season. I mean, I looked at the figures for Wallace. He scored six goals and got 12 assists for Millwall. Now, that is pretty mega, to be fair. And I think he's made um, over 250 appearances for Millwall, making 90 gold contributions in them six years um, that he's been at the club. So, we've um, got some player on our hands. Um, a bit of a war horse of the championship, if I would say so. Also a former Dingle, but we're not going to let that get in the way of it. Um, as he still looks like an absolute hell of a player. Now, this just shows what Bruce is trying to do. If, if this is true, he's trying to get as much service as he can to DK. And we are going to be some side from the looks of it if we get our hands on him. Fingers crossed. I don't want to, to jinx it and look back on the season and see us um, slip into relegation or anything drastic like that. But this is a, a really good deal. Apparently Millwall have offered him offered him um, a decent contract to sign back for them. Um, but he's turned it down and signed for us. Which, I mean, it's decent, but... If I'm going to be pessimistic, it means that we probably offered him quite a bit of money as well. Well, obviously, with Johnson off the wage bill, it might make it a bit more sustainable and um, as available to do that. But, yeah, I mean, brilliant. I think um, Bruce said as well that he's targeting six signs overall. So, Swift, Wallace, four more after that. Um, we're going to be some side, fingers crossed. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't know really what else I can say about this. It's, it's all just, um, it's not 100% confirmed, but it is a pretty reliable source that this has came from, um, being this journalist. So, yeah, fingers crossed it comes through, and um, we should be on for an absolute cracker. Now, the fix just come out tomorrow. I'm sure you're all buzzing about that. I'm, I'm absolutely delighted. I've been bored out of my mind for ages. A bit excited just to see a little bit more um just uh, something that just shows where we're going to end up i guess first game of the season fingers crossed for a decent away day i mean personally i'm hoping for stoke because i want to get revenge on them but we never really have like rivalry kind of games first match of the season so it'll probably be somewhere like i don't know blackburn luton or who else uh rotherham something like that probably we'll end up with but I'm pretty sure it'll be a way with um, the Commonwealth Games being in Birmingham and also the fact that Aston Villa and Wolves are playing on at home, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, not at home. Oh, what am I on about? Aston Villa and Wolves are playing away on their opening weekend and usually the police don't like all four Birmingham teams to be playing around each other at the same time because of obviously football violence and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, thank you all for watching. We'll keep you updated all these transfer news and um, other news to do with the season. Can't wait to get back into the stadium, back to the Hawthorns, back into any ground to be fair. I just miss the football. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Up the Albion, coming to you baggies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.